Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah. Well, we start um, to take some questions from the audience, from the brothers. You know the rules? Anyone doesn't know the rules? Okay, fine. No one said no, so it means everyone knows, yeah? Right. So these are the microphones for the brother, microphone for the brother, microphone for the sisters. You come forward, you put your question, uh, not a lecture, you know, uh, perhaps uh, it's better if it's in English. <laughs> Those I won't be able to understand it, but you can say it in uh, Norwegian as well. And uh, just make sure you keep your questions to the topic. Okay, and, uh, you know, uh, let's fire away. Should we take... Um, We'll try to get the sisters to uh, give the first question, if there's a sister up there. Or any Hello. brothers over there? The sister is there, the sister is Sisters over there? Yes. yes, waving. Go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Um, brother, as you said that uh, human beings have to abide by the divine law. So... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you have to follow my commands and after that you have to follow the sunnah. So people with different thoughts, everyone in the society who live together have different thoughts. But only when they strive towards a single goal, only then they can reach towards the goal. So nowadays people have, uh, many people say that you cannot believe the authenticity of hadith. People have... Uh, um, introduce new uh, fatwas, everything, and uh, some follow the. For example, some follow Rafal Yadin, and some don't do Rafal Yadin. Some say Taraweh is not authentic. Uh, so, can you please explain about these uh, difference of opinion and uh, how, how to follow the authentic hadith? What is the procedure? Thank you. Yeah, did you get that? The beginning it's part. Actually, okay. not on the topic. I must say, it's not on the topic really. Oh. But if you want to answer it, yeah. But the the, the well, early basically question the is concept of the uh, you know the hadith and the way in which they are interpreted and the, and, and and how they are uh, passed forward into this modern day, I believe, is the the real issue. Yeah. To be a quick one, I try to give an quick answer. Quick one, then. Yeah. Bismillah. Now, firstly, sister, we believe what Allah said, what not what people say. Allah says, Inna nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. Allah is the one who revealed the Quran. He will protect the authenticity of his book. Number one. So we have no doubts about the Quran. And Allah says, Fa in tanazaktum fi shay'in farudduhu ilallah wa rizq. If you dispute in any matter, in any matter, not only about the ibadah, mu'amalat, munaqahat, jina, anything, you should refer back to the word of Allah and the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now the question from the sister is now we have problem, a lot of us, uh, not a lot, some group, so-called Muslim is starting to say that we cannot follow the sunnah of the Prophet, the hadith, because we do not know how authentic the hadith is. Number one, if they have doubts because they are ignorant, it is their problem. They must remember what Allah said. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلِ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask people of knowledge if they know not. Of course, you want to know about which hadith is authentic, then you must refer back to the scholar of hadith. Don't ask just anybody. And the Prophet has said it very clear before he passed away. Man qala alayya ma lam akul nar. Whoever dared to say something that the Prophet didn't say, but he used the name of the Prophet. He lied with the name of the Prophet. That means the Prophet, he is putting himself in hellfire. Now, the Prophet is aware that there will come a time people will use his name to say, this is a sunnah, this is a sunnah, but it's not from the Prophet yeah. So, Alhamdulillah, from time to time, Allah has sent people who will come and protect the saying of the Prophet So, inshallah, if you follow the Quran and the Hadith, I give a simple example. For the majority of the Muslims, they don't have the knowledge of Hadith. They can read the Quran, okay? But to be fair to you, just have one set of Sahih Bukhari, another set of Sahih Muslim is sufficient for the public. For normal Muslim, you have the Quran with you, you have the Hadith Bukhari and Hadith Sahih Muslim, it is sufficient for the beginners. But if you want to go further to, read, to learn the, the, the Hadith, 
the sign of hadith, of course, you need more time. But inshallah, like what Allah promised that He will protect His deen, Allah will protect His deen. And the confusion is because the Muslim today, they have little knowledge about hadith, but they like to talk about hadith. May Allah guide them. Amin ya Rabbil Alamin. Zakallah. Next. Amin. Inshallah.